Bom. Otherwise, we'll probably have some supply issues. I think we're gonna have supply issues anyways. Up, guys. Apparently, you're not connected to the capital. I think I, I would dispute that. We want to take the railroads, capture supply hubs, got another supply hub on this province, capture the airport, back to move here. You take uh, Kiev. And again, supplies are going to be a little bit hard for us to come by. We, actually, yeah, we want to kind of rush for supply depots. And you're, I'm guessing you're at War of Japan, right? I guess we'll be Japanese war. Like, why not, right? What's the worst that could happen? But even then, Raider East Prosperity Sphere does have a lot of men in it. Yo, LMAO. We got some Soviet troops now actually starting to show up on the front lines. Hey, Kiev. Lithuania is almost dead. We gotta get the Soviet Union down to 20%. Got a single vote for Emperor shit? How did you how do you have electorate status in Ireland? Is this is this one of the Allied speeches? I don't want these playing. The Royal Air Force. Uh, shenanigans. And we can move some troops up here. We probably want to take Leningrad if we can. And we want to stick ourselves to the railroad. As, as fast as we can. Capturing air bases. And upgrading any supply depots we can with... Yeah, you're not connected. I guess we have to change over the railway gauges. And we want you to be motorized. Minsk hasn't been connected yet. So yeah, this kind of this this kind of runs into the issue that actually happened with the invasion of the Soviet Union, right? We're kind of already outrunning our own supply lines. Um, which is not great. The question is, can I kill the Soviets fast enough where I don't need to worry about supplying my own unit? Maybe. I don't know though. We have, we have two units here. Oh, our railway guns! Hell yeah! I, I don't know how these work. Assign them to... Purple Army? I have no... I have no clue how these units work. At all. But I guess we'll find out. Let's go uh, new Polish industry. Again, we want to capture the railroads. We can actually probably capture the railroads, say, to Moscow. Hey, welcome back. Where are the railroad guns? I mean, they're on their way. I don't, I, I don't know how they work. Range of 213 kilometers, 2,000 HP. I'm guessing they're like very, very big artillery pieces. Yeah, again, we want to motorize as many of these guys as possible. Because we don't want to outrun our supply lines for obvious reasons. Capture the supply depot up here. Want to get that as uh, upgrade as we possibly can. These guys here don't have a plan, so you go. This province, guess what? You're going to speedhide your way to Leningrad. Do you want to join my faction? Looks like the answer is no. You should. I think it'd be really good for you. Move your way to Moscow. Stay on the railroad so we can uh, upgrade the, the railway gauge as we move on. Stay on the railroads. Capture any depots you possibly can. Most well, Vestipole's already fallen. You'd love to see it. Get five of you guys down here. Have you invade your way this way. And you should be okay with that. I don't think there's any railroads actually in Crimea. Rebirth of the Rakhtan Kingdom. I think that's... That's you guys. Well, welcome to existence. I mean, again, China's not going to be living too, too long. That's okay. Okay, Britain's going to send me some volunteers. The United States wants to give me guns. 
Bring everything we have into the fray. Also, kill this one Soviet troop. We don't want him to potentially be causing any trouble. And again, I want you to spearhead your way. And... Wait, Estonia not in the war? You're scared of the border issue. I am a little bit annoyed with you, but what can you do? Bloody Monday. Okay, so they're not too happy with them. But again, I'm going to go take Moscow because I can. Okay, I can see another railway depot. Let's go take the railroad from the Soviets. And if we can actually surround Moscow, I think it would lead to the entire Soviet army maybe not getting supplies. Aha, <laughs> funny Romania, Poland. <laughs> I absolutely love the comment. Thank you. I have like two units on this line. Not Nothing too crazy, but... Just enough. Bring you up. Move your way to Stalino. And I want you to get to Moscow. And I want you to connect these guys back up to the railway network. And I want you to join the freaking war. But they're, they're too scared. They're, they're too much of little babies to, uh, to join us. want to know how you work. I'm guessing you're bombing these guys. At least that's my best guess. How much do we have? Do we have enough motorized? Yeah, we have so much trucks and uh, storage. At least for right now, we're completely okay. Let's move our way to Nova... Can we not cross the strait? Go to, go to Kirch at the very least. But now you guys actually don't have any battle plans. So you should just, like, march to Stalingrad. I'm pretty sure nothing bad could happen there. Blue Army doesn't have a battle plan. Again, kind of just move your way to Moscow. And I think you can be very, very aggressive with it. I want you guys to move your way down towards the Caucasus. I'm assuming railways are not... Yeah, they're not very plentiful down south. You know, try your best. Fingers crossed. Bring you over here as well. Moving all the way to here. I'm, I don't know where you're really going, to be quite honest. You guys are going to spearhead your way to, let's say, Ryzan seems okay. You guys don't have supplies. And we got to upgrade the railroad infrastructure. As best as we can. We're, we're already kind of running, uh, like, ruining our supply depots. Estonia. They're not a threat to you. But I guess we'll delete this line then if you're going to be big babies. We'll send you here and then, hey, move up to Leningrad from this direction. I don't know if you have railroad. You do not have railroad. I'll try to give you some trucks. As best as we possibly can. Hey, Estonia, join the war as soon as my troops actually leave the border. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I want you all over here. Railway is not connected yet, I think. The railway guns. We have one railway gun here. I guess you're helping out with these guys. Which is something. And I appreciate it. And I want you moving up this railroad. You're still doing kind of completely fine where you are. But I want all of you moving your way towards Leningrad. You might not be on the supplies. Uh, on the supply routes. And we need to take these railroads. Novosibirsk is now under our occupation. You love to see it. Let's take Rostov. 
I'm gonna send one unit to this city here. Because again, we need to stay on the railroads as best we can. Railroads are like the blood veins of any nation. Don't have the railroads, we don't we have nothing. But a supply depot up here we'd like to take. Naval invasion of southern China, I'm gonna tell you right now that's pretty low on my priority list. We got a few days until this railroad is back under a, a secure connection. I'm gonna take this area to cut Leningrad off from the rest of the Soviet Union. Which DLC adds railroads. It is um it's no step back, which comes out tomorrow. Guys, how like Soviet Union? How many men do you have? But I feel like we have we have like negative three thousand infantry equipment, which is not like horrible. But I mean, you lost three hundred fifteen thousand. I've only lost twelve thousand men in this whole war so far. Take you. Get on the railroads. Take Stalingrad. Go to Tula. Capture more railway depots. But a Ryzen. You go here, you go here. Railroad connections. We don't have any. Any, honestly? Could probably. Oh, we have no manpower either. Okay, we, we can change that, though. Don't take anything too many uh, horrible penalties. Okay, so you want to capture this area, capture this area. Connects our railroads all together, which is nice. I think we maybe did lose one unit. But I don't, I don't think we saved our infantry in the way that I was hoping. Supplies up here are absolutely dog shit. But we should get some more stuff in the future. Capture you. Banda Krakow Industries. Malavia is taking some good work. Soviet Union is now down to 66%. Afghanistan is still holding out. The rest of you seem like you're doing fine. Got another small encirclement. They're now dead. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, like, it's a weird thing with Hearts Fire 4 sometimes is that the AI, I'm assuming, put their entire army on the Chinese front, which clearly has not worked out well for them. I wonder if these units actually have a, like, uh, have a, um, have a desire to stick to railroads. I'm assuming no is the answer to that one. As nice as it would be. Also, blue line is getting way too fucking long. Actually, no, this is a different blue line. This blue line is getting way too fucking long. This area will be cleaned up here very soon. Our railway guns. Okay, so I'm, just, I'm assuming the railway guns provide a bonus. Yeah, we're getting one bombardment here. How big is the penalty? It's it's only a negative ten percent. I mean, that doesn't seem that great. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe they stack. I don't know. I mean, they're cool for sure. Don't get me wrong. I think they're pretty neat. Okay, but Leningrad has fallen. Allows me to get the next level of doctrine with you. Again, I don't want to control the AI's armies right now. I don't think that's really my best interest. We're actually importing too much stuff. Don't import from you. Don't import from Turkey. I'm assuming we're probably getting supplies from the Soviet territories we're occupying. Could use a little bit more rubber. Could use a little bit of aluminum. How many subjects to have it? Yeah, Italy. Thank you. Oh no, Hugo got timed out. Apologies for that, Hugo. We don't want to be up north anymore. There's nothing up north for us. Move our units here. Please and thank you. Where's Moscow? Okay, we're attacking the Moscow right now. Have a railroad. We have. I mean, we have railroads all around here. Lots of little shit sometimes. Very, very true. 
Let's upgrade infrastructure with you. Don't need it with you. I don't know if there's a way to... Hold shift to show rain. Toggle mobilized. Toggle allied supply. I mean, it seems like it shows rain just from me hovering over it, so I'm not too sure really what they're talking about. What if we uh, upgrade you? Upgrade you. Haven't been on a stream in forever? Well, welcome. I'm glad to uh, have you here. How many trucks are we missing? Well, I mean, we have 1,800. Press Alt F4. You think I was born yesterday? The, the, the fall for your sneaky tricks? Why'd the mod do this? It was a, it's, a, it's a bot. I, I don't have control of the bot. I mean, I guess I, I technically do. I can change its parameters. Moscow is about to fall. Where the hell? Oh, so the checks, man. Where the hell are you going? I don't know. And I want you to march away towards Stalingrad, taking over all the railroads on your way. Press the strike crisis. I mean... We'll spend all our political power trying to make sure the strikes don't get, uh... too, too messy. Now, the Soviets down to 51%. And I, I have no idea what the hell this is supposed to be. Send you here again. Capturing the railroads, move your way down towards Baku. Got Azerbaijan down here. We can probably easily kill them off. Again, this would have been a lot nicer if we had Turkey on our side uh, earlier, but what can he do? For two major countries. Don't need any war propaganda. Don't need any military parades either. Well, Moscow, Lisbon, Copenhagen as Italy and make them connect to Rome. I think they're all technically connected to Rome anyways if you were to uh, take over the land. I mean, we now have Moscow. Which means I guess we'll take these two cities next. Stalingrad will be ours in mere moments. Railway network does need to be connected a little bit better. And I have no fucking... It's actually just a complete mess. Like, where are they going? I don't think I could tell you. Take this province. Go take this province while you're on the way. Stalingrad is worth... 30 victory points. Guess I was going to put their capital in Vladivostok. Worth 15. It'll be a bit of a nightmare to actually get over there. And then, of course, we have to, after that, kill China. Which I think proves to have its own logistical difficulty. Or not kill China, kill Japan. these handful of Soviet troops. Purple line. I guess you move your way towards... How much, how much are you worth? You only worth five victory points, huh? But at the same time, you kind of have to just march in this direction. Taking whatever the hell it is you can. Like, it would have been really nice if, if Finland joined our faction. They really do not want to go to war with you, huh? Which is a bit of a shame. The Soviets, I know, have a possibility to go to war with them, but I don't think they would really push it. Okay, I think the strikes in our country are getting worse and worse by the day. Where do you see your war score in the game? Basically, this is kind of the war score for 35% in favor of us. And... And our army's looking good. I had to assign everyone to be aggressive as possible. Find you all here. 
how did France send troops to um to Indochina? I mean that that's good on them. Germany's actually doing some encirclement stuff. 